Hi guys, Bill Wilroth with the Grind Waterfowl TV. Uh, three years ago, I did a walkthrough on our basic hull and motor, uh, Mud Buddy and Excel boat. Uh, we're still fortunate enough to be partnered up with, with Dave and Glenn at Mud Buddy and Excel. And Dave contacted me this year and was wondering if I wanted a new boat. It's been three years and I said, heck no. I've got this thing pretty well tricked out the way I like it. Um, it runs fantastic. It handles everything we want to do. Like I told you before, this boat does it. What I've done to it because we use it so much is I actually put a little portable blind on it. Uh, with the water conditions the way they are in the Missouri River, our water gets low fast now. We used to have high water into December, now it runs out on us usually mid or early November. And without this boat, we would not get to where the ducks are at. So we actually went ahead and put a blind on it. Um, I talked to guys at shows all over, you know, they expressed some concern on how fragile a mud motor is. Well, I'm here to tell you, I beat the living tar out of this thing. Uh, it's, this will be its fourth season. Uh, all you really need to do is the scheduled maintenance, you know, uh, change your oil when it's due. Uh, we give, give it a shot of grease, probably over grease it. I do it a couple times a year, not over grease, just a couple pumps. And that's all I've done to this motor and it runs fantastic and it's a powerful machine. Uh, this blind is light, but we can put two or three guys in it and five dozen decoys and we're still GPS at about 28 miles an hour. So I just want to show you the quick little blind we put on this thing. Uh, I've done some other little tweaks that you couldn't really see, but uh, Dave was not getting this boat back yet. She's going to run the Missouri River one more year. So I'll show you what we've done here. Uh, this is just a very simple pop-up blind and this is a homemade thing I did myself. Uh, we just have four brackets. There's really just one long extended arm on each bracket. We get to where we're going, we just pop it up. And there's just a pin sitting inside. We just hold that side up with the pin and that's it, we're ready to hunt. Uh, we've got, you see I've only got fast grass up as far as that Velcro. We have fast grass covers that actually Velcro here that we can place to cover the big, big black hole. I tell guys all the time, the biggest problem with any duck blind is the big black hole. If you've ever flown and looked down at layout blinds, uh, duck boat blinds, what you see is if guys have a, that opening across the top, it sticks out like a sore thumb. So we cover it all except one little, if we got two guys, two little shooting holes, three guys, three little shooting holes, and that's it. And then we do have, actually have some grass we put across the top of us too, but very simple, very fast, and very efficient. And this boat gets us into the shallows where other guys just, they watch us go in in amazement. So uh, we, we were getting in some spots last year that Hank, Hank even figured out when we were getting close to where we were going, he was watching, he'd lay down on the floor. You just almost see his little toes crossed, but it'll get you where you're going and get you home. 